This economy has been hard in almost every part of the business industry. However, it might be even more difficult for members of the nonprofit sector. I recently spoke with Joel Brennan, President and CEO of Discovery World, one of Milwaukee's newest nonprofits, to figure out how that organization is weathering the storm. Joel, the state of the economy has made it tough for many nonprofits to continue doing and prosper the way they have been in the past. What is your take on the economy and how nonprofits are faring? Well, these are obviously unprecedented days in every industry, whether it's the nonprofit or the corporate world or even in government. And so everybody is asked to do more with less. Here at Discovery World, we're operating this year with about 20% fewer employees than we did last year. We've cut our budget significantly, both in response to the economy, but also because we've been open for about two and a half years now, we had two years of operating data to understand kind of what our capacity is and how we could function as a sustainable organization. So we've made some great modifications in that, and I, I'm happy to say that, that we're actually getting more for less out of our employees here, which is a credit to them and a credit to the community in that we're continuing to grow even in these challenging times. But clearly, it's a, as hard a time as we have experienced uh, locally, nationally, internationally in most of our lifetime. So it's, uh, it's really a, a challenging time, a ch time that stretches everybody. Joel, you mentioned earlier that uh, Discovery World has managed to kind of maintain its reputation and kind of buck the trend that's been going on with nonprofits in this economy. What are some of the things that you guys have managed to do to maintain that? Well, we're standing on a wooden deck, first of all, and so I should find somewhere to knock on. Uh, <laughs> but we have found a way in this difficult environment to increase our attendance and to increase the use of the building. For the, for the year to date, we're up about 10% in our overall attendance, uh, and we're up about 30% in our general admission attendance, which is the people who just pay their $15 or $12 to walk up and, and walk through the, the uh, facility. So we're a, a place that really exists to celebrate innovation, creativity in this community. I know you got some cool things planned for the summer. What are some of those things that you guys are targeting trying to reach out to people in this economy too? Well, Discovery World is a place that is, is, exists for everyone. And so we're doing things that are aimed at families, things that are aimed at teens and tweens and everyone in between. Um, so some of the things that we're doing, we're kicking off in early July here our outdoor live music series uh, we call Live at the Lakefront. It's right out on our uh, amphitheater outside Discovery World. We do that in partnership with the downtown Milwaukee Rotary and with Bartolotta Catering. And so it's an opportunity. Summerfest may have just ended a few days ago, but it's an opportunity to let people know that the music doesn't end and Summer at the Lakefront is a great opportunity to do things. So every Wednesday night between July 8th and August 26th, we have outdoor concerts, free outdoor concerts in our Rotary Amphitheater and allow people to come down with a picnic basket, uh, enjoy the evening out here, come up with their boats, and just find ways to, to make great use of this lake. Another thing that we're doing also kicking off uh, in this first couple weeks of July, on July 10th we're starting our outdoor fish fry and a flick. And what that is, it's an outdoor uh, fish fry, it starts at 6 o'clock and then at dusk uh, we'll play movies, and this is not uh, a kids' movie ser series. This is something for young adults and adults. And uh, for instance, we kick it off with Kingpin and The Big Lebowski at our first showing. We'll show things like Animal House and Caddyshack, and we'll do it uh, with an inflatable 30-foot-tall movie screen right out here on the lakefront. And that's in partnership with Point Brewing, uh, Point Brewery, the Pabst and Riverside Theaters, Bartolotta Catering. So we're finding uh, opportunities opportunities to make new friends and make the best use that we can of the great facility that we have. What advice would you give to other nonprofits that maybe aren't doing as well and need, need some help? Well, I think for any nonprofit and any business right now, it's really important to find out who your friends are. And much of what we're doing here at Discovery World, you know, we've had to operate with fewer resources. But we are doing more in partnership with, with some of those corporations and people who have been our longtime partners. Uh, corporations like Johnson Controls, Rockwell Automation, We Energies, they're staples of this community. They're really important to the mission that we have at Discovery World, and they're uh, able to support us in ways that uh, will help us on our bottom line, but also will help the community. Things like providing internships for some of their employees 
who are working on the floor here and uh, those corporations are helping to foot the bill. It gives a young person a great experience, but it also enlivens our building and enriches the experiences that we have for our customers. Other customers or other, other partners that we have, like the Paps Theater and uh, Bartolotta, th those are places that we work with already and we're finding innovative new ways to, to work with them. So I think at this time for anybody uh, you know, in this economy where everyone is struggling, it's time to find out who your real friends are and find innovative ways, cost effective ways that you're able to use, uh, use all the, the systems that you have and use all the opportunities that you have. And 